Hey there guys, this video is about solving inequalities. They are very similar in solving equations. For example, this first one, you still have to have the same base to be able to solve the inequality. So when you do have the same base, you just cancel them out. You rewrite it, 2x minus 4 is less than 2. You rewrite it so that it just includes the exponents. And then you solve just like you would before. Add 4 to both sides. You get 2x is less than 2 plus 4 is 6. And then you divide by your 2. Divide by your 2. And you get x is less than 3. Okay? So, in order to make sure that we are correct, We'll do our little chart, our little number line, just like we've done before. Put your circle here. And we'll pick a number, typically zero. Zero is the easiest one if it's available. Something that's less than three. And then you pick another number that's greater than three. We'll place it one just to the right of it. So we pick zero and four. When we plug zero back into the original equation, you get three to the power of negative four. And 3 to the power of 4 is 81, so it would be 1 over 81 because of the negative 4 is less than 3 squared, which is 9. And that is a true statement. So let's shade it all over here. And then when you plug in 3, you do 2 times 3 is 6 minus 4. You get 3 squared is less than 3 squared. And that would be false because the two are equal. Then we'll check 4. Plug in 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 4 is 4. So you get 3 to the 4th is less than 3 squared. And 3 to the 4th is 81. 3 squared is 9. 81 is definitely not less than, so that's false. And this inequality here does accurate, is accurately portrayed with our solution. This other side, just, just the same as before, when you don't have the same base, you need to make the same base. 3x plus 6, so it stays the same. And 2, or 8, is 2 to the third. So then we can cancel out our bases and we get 3x plus 6 is greater than or equal to 3. Subtract your 6 from both sides. You get 3x is greater than or equal to negative 3. Divide by 3. You get x is greater than or equal to negative 1. So then we'll take our little number line, we'll put negative 1 on it. Okay. And we got a spot over to the right, that would be 0. Spot to the left, negative 2. And we're going to test all three areas. So you plug in negative 2, you get negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So you get 2 to the 0 is greater than or equal to 8. And if we use our zero exponent rule, we know that 2 to the 0 is 1, and 1 is not greater than 8, so this is false. We won't shade that area. Plug in negative 1. 3 times negative 1, negative 3, plus 6 is positive 3. So we get 2 to the 3rd is greater than or equal to 8. And 2 to the 3rd is 8, so it is equal, which means that's true. We'll shade it in. Then plug in 0, 3 times 0 is 0, plus 6 is 6, and you get 2 to the 6 is greater than or equal to 8. And 8 is 2 to the 3rd, which means that 2 to the 6 must be bigger, so this is definitely true. So it's going to be everything over this way. And our solution set did say it was greater than negative 1 or equal to, so that is correct. All right, this concludes inequalities. Have a good day.